My name is Whitney and I'm a body-centered therapist and I use a variety of different tools and methods. One is a model of therapy called internal family systems and another is a type of body work called zero balancing. I have a very large range of clients um, but they have certain things in common and one is wanting to work experientially so wanting to get into the moment of what their experience is, usually in their body, primarily, as well as their mind. Um, and so I don't do a lot of strictly kind of like talk-based therapy. I really get, um, get clients to feel into how they're experiencing things in their body in the moment as it's arising. People come with a huge range of things that aren't necessarily going dramatically wrong, but just could be improved. Um, and so, uh, chronically getting triggered in terms of work situations, uh, relationships, um, kind of like low-level fatigue, depression, anxiety, um, feeling alienated from other people or alienated from the world, I think is actually really common and most of us think that when we're feeling that way it's only us because that's what alienation is. That's what it feels like. Um, so normalizing just basic things about the human experience that probably a lot of people struggle with. Internal family systems is a really simple way of helping clients bring creativity and compassion and curiosity towards the things about themselves that might often um, cause them to feel critical. And so if you bring a critical energy towards something that's already feeling stuck, it will usually get reactive or tighten versus if you bring sort of a gentler, compassionate energy, then it will usually automatically respond to that and maybe be willing to shift. Um, so IFS helps clients unblend from parts that are feeling stuck and then witness the beliefs that they hold, the charges that they carry, and ultimately helps them shift and integrate with other parts of themselves. Zero balancing is a type of body work um, done with a client fully clothed, reclining on a table, and it's a very gentle way to very directly impact their mind and their body through a series of gentle, um, they're called fulcrums, that um, touch the client at bone level. And because bones are the most resonant part of the body, if you make a connection at bone level, you can release a lot of very deeply held patterns and help the client find more alignment and harmony in their body and also in their lives. One of the ways that I like to explain the work that I do is that all of us are carrying around wind chimes. And um, when we go into the world, when we're in a conversation with someone, um, sometimes very small, subtle things can cause our wind chimes to blow. And so rather than blaming the wind or the person or the situation or the job, it's much more helpful to just really kind of turn internally and get curious about what the wind chimes that our particular bodies and minds are carrying are made of um, and sort of beginning to unpackage what is our experience that we're carrying around in the world. I'm amazed by both how similar they are to each other and how different. Um, so I really just like to make a connection with someone and be present to however that unfolds. Um, and so one really interesting thing that often happens with a new client is they come into uh, a practice of doing therapy and they start noticing dreams or um, just sort of like things that weren't at the front of their awareness before begin to come into focus. And that's all really kind of spontaneous and it just happens. Um, but I like to be open to that kind of mystery element in uh, the way that this kind of work unfolds. I think sometimes people see therapy as a, a non-collaborative sort of thing where I'm a professional and the person's coming in because they need help and so I really try to change that perspective of therapy because I think therapy works best when it's really collaborative and I don't have all the answers I'm just trying to figure out how to be human and sort of have a connection around whatever might be stuck and for most people there's something in their lives that could flow more organically and could feel smoother. So um, I really welcome people coming into therapy for a huge range of reasons um, because I think it can be helpful for so many different things.